This, my friends, just arrived in phantom black. Love that color description. 2023 Hyundai Tucson. This is the end line all wheel drive. This vehicle, believe it or not, comes in 10 trim levels. They've got a gas engine, a gas plus electric hybrid, a plug in hybrid. That helps out with the options of 10 different trim levels. Today, a just arrived walk around first impression of this little compact SUV. Let's get started. So what does the end line mean with the Hyundai Tucson? Here's how they describe it. Muscular stance based on sensuous sportiness. I would have never guessed in my wildest dreams you could put sensuous and sportiness in the same sentence, but Hyundai did. So there you go. That's what they describe it as. So this has a 2.5 liter four cylinder, eight speed automatic transmission, 187 horses, 178 pound feet of torque. This can possibly tow up to 2,000 pounds, which is pretty amazing, and all wheel drive. So you got that going for you, which is nice. And fuel economy and mixed driving, 26. Not too shabby for a compact SUV, huh? Also not too shabby is the cargo capacity. There's also an option inside the car that you can open this up as well. There's also one just below here. So looking at uh, 38.7 cubic feet of cargo volume, and then you fold these down, which is a 60-40 split. It increases it to over 74, closer to 75 cubic feet of cargo volume. So pretty darn spacious for a vehicle of this size and class. Let's not stop there. Check out the back seat leg room. Now I've got the car seats in here because I took the kids to school this morning after I received the vehicle. So got it in the morning, took the kids to school. Perfect timing for that. Uh, I got the booster seat here, but I'll take that out and look, I'm 5'11 and here's my space behind the driver's position and this is my position as a driver. So I've got tons of room for leg room. So surprisingly, pretty comfortable. If you want to sit back here as a full size adult and I still have room for an extra car seat, a uh, diaper bag in the middle, whatever you want. It's got a couple of USB ports here. This does not have a sunroof in our edition, but uh, overall it looks pretty spacious inside the cabin. I'm trying to avoid the sun glare, but I can't quite do it. Uh, headroom is great too. And here is the distance between the top of my head and the roof line. So I'm getting that much. Hey, it's not a mid-size, it's not a full size. It's a compact. So you're going to get compact headroom. Yeah, that works. A couple more things before we wrap up this just arrived first impressions video. Let's look at the cabin together. Push button start. Now I know with last year's and the same with this year's, they have a eight inch screen on the lower trims and a 10.25 inch touchscreen here on the upper trims and a fully digital instrument cluster there. It looks pretty sharp. So in here, USB ports, you got a charging pad below for um, compatible devices, heated seats on the end line, storage in here. They've got the different accents with the red here on the back of the seat, let you know that you have the end line also on the floor mats. So everything about this says, hey, we're into performance. And that's what this is all about right here. So good. And uh, driving, I took a drive. I recorded some footage this morning. Here's that footage. So pretty smooth. The engine is not super powerful, uh, but again, four cylinder, 2.5 liter horsepower ain't great, but fuel economy is decent at 26. Could be a little bit better, but I got the all wheel drive and you have other engine options available with those 10 different trim options for the Tucson in 2023. So, hey, this is my test vehicle. I can only drive what they send me. I made a few other notes here to pass along. This has received a five-star rating in the past. So with 2023, they don't have a rating on this one just yet, and I just got it. So uh, you can probably expect the same because not much has changed in terms of, of their safety upgrades to it. So five-star rating a couple years ago, most likely the same here. MSRP range with all those different trim levels between 28 and $46,000. This is a top compact uh, SUV in the, in the uh, class. It competes with the CRV, the Rogue, RAV4, even the Ford Bronco Sport. So this has been a quick look, just arrived at some of the highlights of what I've seen so far in this first day of getting it. 
Uh, hope you like that. I will have a full review coming up in about a week or so right here on Every Man Driver. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Adios. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.